Why do we pray? I'm sure we've all asked that question at some point. I mean, does it really make any difference? And if God knows everything, he knows what we're thinking. Why would we have to pray and tell him again? And God's all powerful. He can do anything he wants. Why would he want us to pray about something he can do on his own? Well, let me tell you why prayer is so important. Think back to Adam. When he was placed in the garden, he was given God's limited authority and he was given the assignment to subdue the earth. So God chose to work through Adam to see his will accomplished on the earth. I mean, God didn't need Adam. He could have just changed the earth by snapping his fingers. fingers. But he chose to work through humans rather than work independently of humans. Now, in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus said to pray that his will uh, would be done on earth as it is in heaven. So what that means is that our prayers release God's will onto the earth. And so if we don't pray, his will will not be released onto the earth in the same, to the same extent. Also in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus told us to pray for our daily bread. Now, obviously, God wants to give us our daily bread. So Jesus told us that we were to pray God's will into our lives so that when we pray, we release what God wants to give us into our lives. Now, remember the story of Elijah. God told Elijah that he was going to send rain, but Elijah prayed fervently that the rain would start. He just didn't sit back and say, okay, it's going to happen automatically. He prayed to see God's will accomplished. Now, when Jesus was on the planet, he really showed us how God wants to work through humans. In John 5 and 19, he says that I can do nothing of myself. I can only do what I see the Father doing. So what Jesus did was he knew what God's will was, and then he declared it onto the earth and miracles happened. And he did that to show us what he wants us to do. He wants us to discern God's will and then declare it into our circumstances. And that's how we can release the supernatural power of God into our lives. Now, here's a thought that really bothers me. How many promises of God are going unfulfilled in our lives because we were too lazy to pray them into being? We just thought they would happen automatically. Or how much of God's will has not yet been accomplished and is waiting to happen when we would pray and declare it. And what really disturbs me is how many miracles are waiting to take place or how many miracles am I holding back because I just haven't bothered to pray for them. Prayer is partnering with God to see His will accomplished in our personal lives and on the earth. God's waiting for you to partner with Him to release His will and His supernatural power. So to live a transformed life, you need to realize how important your prayers are. Now I want to hear from you. What, what miracles have you seen through your prayers? What breakthroughs have taken place because you declared God's will? Just leave your comments in the box below because we want to share your testimonies. And if this is your first visit here, you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form. And you know where it is. It's always right there. And I'll talk to you again next week. But this week, realize how important your prayers are.